Oh, I miss you guys. Brian, yesterday, Pat, Pat talked about uh, Jeff being feisty and a lot of things that go on here that we don't see. Bisdelic? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. He's a feisty one. Um, no, but he he obviously, I mean, Coach D'Antoni has the good cop mentality. Coach Bisdelic is sort of the bad cop, even though, you know, that that might sound bad, but obviously he's doing his job and, and he, uh, you know, he wants us to be great. You know, he wants us to be the best we can be defensively. And uh, I think he's done a really good job with us this year. How but he is feisty. How is he the bad cop? Because uh, he's feisty. Um, he'll, he'll, he's not afraid to uh, approach anybody on the team, and, and you know, for the benefit of the group, for the benefit of our defense. Obviously, you know, coming into this season, a lot of people had a lot of a lot of questions about our defense, and, and uh, that's a huge reason why he came in here because of his expertise and. Um, he's done a really good job with this group. Made made things a lot easier. Uh, you know, when we go through film, he, he uh, points it out to everybody. You know, it's not like he's just criticizing one guy or, you know, there no one's safe with Coach Bisdelli. He said that defense is a choice. It mm -hmm. has to matter. How did he make it matter here? Um, you know, uh, I think that we sort of realized what we had with this group. Uh, we realized that we have something special. So. Uh, we don't want to, you know, take that lightly. You know, we wanted to come in and obviously do the best job we can for each other. Um, so he sort of instilled that uh, he gave us the tools and how to be successful. And I think that we just had the passion, and desire to win for each other, to help each other out on defense. And uh, I think it goes hand in hand. Obviously, you know, I played on certain teams where guys have the ability to play defense, but it, it, they're the team might not be as close or there might not be that unity or that desire to go out and, and win every single game every night and grind like we have here. Sorry, uh, because of the guys over there who've won championships and Kawhi having the kind of success he's having, does Lamarcus Aldridge get overlooked a little bit? Does he get forgotten? The guy's been a multiple-time All-Star. Yeah, I mean, he's a great player. Obviously, he's, he's a huge talent for them. He's a, a big X factor for them, but... Um, you know, I think that, that that's an organization, they're a team that, that uh, they don't need like the glitz and glamour of, of the prestige and attention and all this stuff. You know, they want to win. They're a professional team. Uh, from what I know of Mark Soldridge, he's a professional guy and, and uh, I don't think he's the kind of guy that, that needs that, that attention. But um, I wouldn't say he's overlooked. I think that their whole team is is a, a unit that's respected. Is he sort of the epitome of the difference between these two offenses? It's all mid-range. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. We, we, that's where we feel like our advantage is. You know, we, we obviously spread the court really well, but um, when they play their big lineups, we can really run up and take advantage of that. Brian, the uh, threes didn't fall collectively as a group in the series against OKC. Does that we won different? We found a different way to win, or is it part of we better start shooting threes, or we're not going to be dispersed? Yeah, I mean, we're very confident with how we're playing right now. Obviously, we we we're confident if we're not making threes or if we're making threes now. And I think that that's a good point to be at in the season for us. Obviously, right now we 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 know we're at our best when we're running and gunning, but um, we've proven that we can win with with a different kind of a structure. We have guys that really finish well down in the basket. Obviously, James makes great plays to get those easy baskets. And, um, you know, if teams want to decide to take us away from, from our shooting, it just opens up the court so much more. So it really is a pick your poison, um, you know, type of situation when you try to figure out how to guard us. Um, but yeah, we have proven that we can win both ways, so we're real confident. Right? How much do you think this team has grown from the first time y'all started talking to you? <coughs> well, you guys are right now. Um, there's just a, a different confidence level. We know what we need to do. You know, obviously we're at the point now where if we make a mistake, we know. You know, it's not it's not a thing where we need to watch film and you need to tell us about what we did wrong. We know. Mm -hmm. Um, it, you know, I think we can even get better and keep improving. I think the more this team builds together, the more communication will get better, the more that unity will, will, will you know, that, that bond will, will grow. I think, um, you know, with time comes more chemistry, and I think that will just make us that much better.